What's up guys, Volt here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Minecraft 3D mod. Now for this mod, you're going to need the latest Forge, which is currently 1.4.7, and the Minecraft 3D mod, which is in beta 1 at the moment. Uh, now the link for this will be in the description, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to download it. So for Minecraft 3D, you're going to go ahead and click the link to take you to this forum page. And this mod was made by SC Moans and Nop Nopes, or Nopes. Uh, I think that's how you say his name. But once you're here, you're just going to scroll down and click this big blue Minecraft 3D Beta Version 1 button. That'll take you to AdFly, then just skip the ad and download it from Mod Loader. Once you have that downloaded, put it on your desktop, and then come back to the forum page. And you're going to want to click this Minecraft Forge 6.6.0 Plus button. Uh, clicking this will take you to MinecraftForge.net. And you're just going to go ahead and click the Direct button or AdFly, it doesn't matter. Uh, for universal so once you have both of those uh, in downloaded and on your desktop go ahead and go down to this start button and type in percent app data percent this should bring up your roaming folder go ahead and open that up now in your roaming folder locate your dot minecraft which is right here go ahead and open that up and then you guys won't see uh, the core mods or the mods folder yet uh, so once you're in here, go ahead and open up your bin folder, and then you should see a Minecraft executable jar file. Just go ahead and right-click this, open with WinRAR. If you can't open it with WinRAR, uh, you probably need to download WinRAR, and there will be a link in the description. WinRAR is basically an archiving program, uh, and if you're using 7-zip, it will still work. So once you have that open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge Universal. And then you're just going to highlight everything. You can do that by pressing Control A. And then just drag all the Minecraft Forge Universal class files and folders into the Minecraft.jar. Then click OK. And once this is done, go ahead and delete the meta-inf folder. It's hard to miss because it's in all caps. So just make sure you delete that. I'll go ahead and do that real quick. If you don't delete that, you'll get black screen. And uh, that's a major issue a bunch of people have. And if you can't delete it, you probably have the Minecraft game opened. So make sure you close Minecraft before trying to delete it. Now once you have mine or made a inf deleted, you can go ahead and uh, close your Minecraft or your dot .minecraft or your Minecraft uh, jar, sorry. And you can close your Minecraft Forge Universal. And go ahead and minimize this, your bin folder for now. Then you're going to want to run Minecraft. Running Minecraft will basically just uh, run Forge, and you're going to need to run Forge before installing the actual mod itself. So if you've done this correctly so far, you should have three mods uh, down here, and you should be able to click mods, and it should be these. This is just what it's going to give you with default Forge, so go ahead and quit game now. And then go ahead and open up your bin that I had you minimize. Click this back button. So now you're in your dot Minecraft, and you should see a core mods and a mods folder. You're gonna open up this mods folder, and then drag the Minecraft 3D Beta 1 into the mods folder. Uh, and that is how to install the mod. You can go ahead and close down everything, and go ahead and open up Minecraft. I will go ahead and do that to make sure that it worked. So log in. It'll say FML is setting up your Minecraft environment, which is Forge, just launching your Minecraft. Let's see here. If it takes a while to boot up, uh, just wait, I guess. There we go. Uh, so now I should say four mods loaded. And as you can see, now I have four. Uh, you'll notice that Minecraft 3D was added in here. Uh, and it has basically a little uh, description about the mod here. So you go ahead and click done if you went in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys uh, my single player. Uh, so far this mod is in beta, so there's still some bugs. And there's a bunch of things they still have to add. But uh, here's some of the new features that I'm going to be showing you guys. So right off the bat you can see circular melons. Uh, Circular-ish pumpkins. And then this, you might be wondering what this is. This is actually grass. It looks really nice along with the pumpkins and the melons. Uh, now, one of the bugs that they have is uh, the fern. I have a fern in my hand right here. 
when placing it down it looks almost identical if not identical to uh, the grass so that is a bug that they plan on fixing along with a bunch of other things and uh, you can also see here that they have the sugarcane 3d as well and the uh, whatever these are called I think it's it's a dead bush so they have the dead bushes like this but this is going to be changed uh, so don't worry uh, and again, if you want to check out the official mod review of this by SC Moans himself, there will be a link in the description. Now, there are also a couple other things that this has in it. Uh, the Iron Pickaxe and the Iron Sword, also known as the Sword of Justice, uh, has a 3D texture to it. So as you can see here, it looks really nice. It has uh, Japanese writing on it, which I cannot translate. But uh, this is called the Sword of Justice, and you can see it's really long. Uh, now, if you have this mod installed on a server with your friends, they will not be able to see it unless they have the mod installed too. So, uh, if you're trying to show this off to your friends, make sure that they have it installed. And uh, the pumpkins act as regular pumpkins. You can break them; they work as blocks. You can put them on your head, but they do not. Oop, they do not have a head feature yet, so it's just going to look like a pumpkin on your head. And uh, I think the apple also has an animation or a texture to it. Yeah, so the apple is also 3D. Uh, so yeah, it's really nice. As you can see, that just doesn't happen. But uh, this is a really cool way to uh, make your Minecraft look very realistic uh, if your computer cannot handle the realistic texture packs. Uh, also, I do recommend this mod with Optifine, though. I don't have it installed, but if your computer isn't some sort of computer beast, uh, I would recommend this with Optifine. Uh, but that is all I have for this mod tutorial. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, that will help me, and it'll let you guys know uh, when I'm doing another mod review. Uh, also, you can check out my Twitter, which I'll be posting uh, about, and I'll be posting about mods and helping people on there as well. Uh, and if you have a mod review that you would like me to do, please leave it in the comment section. I look at all the comments, uh, or try to. And uh, I try to respond to people who have questions. So, yeah, that is all for now. And I will see you guys later.